President William Ruto has described Kenya as a beacon of strong democracy in the aftermath of the concluded general election. The president fashioned his victory against Azimio leader Raila Odinga as illustration that the country's democracy had matured and Kenyans were the ultimate decision makers on the choice of their leaders. Sam Ogina has more. The president's speech as he officially opened the 13th parliament was last with political messaging. President Ruto said Kenya's democracy had matured, with his victory a signature statement of that maturity. The sitting deputy president became the candidate of the opposition. And the leader of the opposition became the candidate of government. And as things would be, the opposition candidate won the election and became president. And the president became the leader of the opposition party. <laughs> That's the beauty of our democracy. <laughs> and it only happens in Kenya. To underpin the democratic gains in the country's political space, the president said the concluded general elections transcended ethnic balkanization, personality politics and patronage. And that in fact, power has been transferred back to the people. In the process... We also affirmed the sovereignty of the people of Kenya as the ultimate decision makers as envisaged in the Constitution. Taking cognizance of the hotly contested elections that had a narrow margin separating him from his closest competitor, the president said it was time to bury the hatchet and forge ahead as a unified nation. It is true, this election was an intensely contested election. Nevertheless, that it was peaceful and democratic again confirms the coming of age of our democracy. Setting off the calendar of the 13th parliament, the president said it houses the highest number of re-elected leaders ever. 193 MPs were re-elected in the National Assembly, 50 more than in 2017, with 17 senators re-elected to the Senate. Meanwhile, 29 women have also been elected in the National Assembly, six more than in 2017. President Ruto challenged parliamentarians not to let down their constituents. The confidence demonstrated by Kenyans in us and our institutions should inspire us to raise the bar in our service to the nation and accountability to the electorate. But a section of leaders were critical of the president, claiming he was still in a campaign mode. Still talking about issues of our hustlers, still talking about the issues of bottom-up in the judiciary, he's still talking about uh, who was the opposition candidate and who was government candidate. Those are now things that are dead and buried. The president described his victory as a testament of the country's democracy coming of age, a maturity that saw him upset the status quo to rise to become the country's fifth president. Samogina Citizen TV at Parliament Buildings, Nairobi.